This is a white male soldier character that is built and made fully all in Blender. It's fully rigged. You can create a bunch of cool stuff with this rig. And the cool part is that there's also 26 custom poses included in this purchase. And the renders are super duper quick, around 11 seconds in cycles and seven seconds in Eevee. And this is the wireframe. Thanks for sticking through through the intro. This is the overview. So if you want to check out a specific part of the video, just check out the timestamps in the YouTube description and you can yeah just click on timestamps and whatever you need click there and you'll see so this is the blender version i'm currently using it's the blender 3.0 but this rig will absolutely work fine in blender 3.2 maybe 3.3 or 3.4 but currently the latest is 3.2 and then i just tested it and it works fine so anything 3.0 and up should be working great Now we're at the checking out the rig part of the video. It's pretty cool rig. Uh, yeah, let me just show you. Well, you can obviously, if you want to, you can simplify by disabling some of the suit parts, reduce the lag, and make sure you also disable simplify. Well, I mean, enable simplify so it does not lag as much. The rig is pretty awesome. Let me do something actually. We can do this, we can move the leg. We can even, let's hide the glasses so I can show you the eye rig because that's also pretty good. You can see here, we can do full grid looking blinks with not, without any issue. We can uh, open up the mouth, working great. You can see no deforming, so that's cool. And then you can of course make him smile and you can pull out the tongue if you want to as well puff up the cheeks if he get hits and dies or whatever. Move the eyes, everything's fine. The heads as well. Um, uh, yeah, there's always some ways you can hide stuff if you want to optimize things, have quicker renders, then you can just play around with the uh, properties outliner. Now we're at the changing pose part of the video it's fairly basic stuff just go on the right side and click on a pose and you should be able to change poses it should look good and everything should be awesome in case uh, something like this happens where you change the pose and you can see that they don't move kind of when you're in pose mode make sure nothing is selected that that way you will be able to yeah change poses This is the render part of the video. Once you create your pose or whatever you want to render, it's pretty basic stuff. Make sure you make the settings you want. In case, in my case, I have this settings. I'll make cycles and you can of course play around and do your stuff. Just go to the top left corner and click on render image. In my case, it takes around 11 seconds. And uh, once that is done, image saves and you can yeah click on save and do whatever you want to do there so that's great now we're at the creating a custom pose part of the video so the first thing we should do is make sure we are in a default pose just that's good by going here and clicking default and now we'll go into pose mode and we'll do something we'll take the gun probably and uh, maybe he will do something with the gun orientation not as weird here um i'm just moving with by pressing g and rotating with r or x r x r z and stuff like that um i'll put the gun here and then we'll have him do it like this you can also tweak the fingers by going in the finger details and then tweaking them in my case i won't do it because I'm too lazy, but in your case, I recommend going under finger details and yeah, doing some finger details. Uh, let's move maybe the leg here, pressing G again to move, GX to move on the G, uh, X axis and GZ, 
Maybe let's have him crouch a bit. And uh, the second arm standing next to him like that. And let's rotate on the R axis. Um, let's open up the mouth. Let's open it up and let's like he's cheekily smiling or something. Okay, that's our pose. It's uh, not the best, but I recommend in your case to play around and take more time to create your poses. But in my case, this is all I will do. And now we're at the saving a custom pose part of the video. We just created our own little custom pose that does not look good, but it's just for showcasing purposes. To save your custom photos, first make sure you have nothing selected. You can see here, uh, if I have this selected and I press G, you can see I can move the character. If I have nothing selected and I press G, nothing moves. So make sure it's very important that nothing is selected. Once you have done that, just click on the plus icon and click on add new. And then it will show up here. I recommend renaming it now because you will forget to do it later and we will call it shooting. And once we have done that, we can go into the scratching heads uh, or whatever pose you want. And then we can go into the shooting and you will see that everything is working great. If for some reason the pose does not change, for example, like you can see here, make sure you have nothing selected before you change poses because uh, you're just moving this square's pose location, not everything. So just make sure you have nothing selected and it should work fine. Besides that, thanks for watching, check out the links in the description and bye bye.